Hi everybody, I'm Victor Adiboali. Um, to those people who know me and my friends, I'm known as Lord Professor the Lord Victor Adiboali, CBE. No, that's a joke. Victor will do nicely. Um, I'm here to welcome new students and to say hello to current students as you arrive or come back to the LSE. You're coming back or arriving at university at an extraordinary time. Um, this country has gone through an experience not that different or certainly as dramatic as you know any in its history. Uh, the Covid experience is a first and hopefully it'll be the last but it has taught us a couple of things that perhaps we didn't know and didn't focus on. One, we live in a hugely unequal society. I mean, you knew that anyway, at least I hope you did. But COVID has made that absolutely obvious, red lines around, around it. Two, the future is very hard to predict. It's very difficult to predict COVID, but there are signals. And one of them is the fact that we live in a world which actually is on the brink of an ecological disaster to which we will all pay the price if we don't pay attention to it. So we have inequality, we have COVID, and we have an ecological disaster. Now, it really doesn't matter what you study here. What matters is that you understand the challenges that this society and other societies around the world are facing and that you're willing to contribute. For those of you that think that I'm an old hand at places like this, the LSE, the, one of the top 10 universities in this country. I need to tell you, I'm not. And, uh, my first experience of the LSE was becoming a governor of the LSE. And my first experience was pretty daunting. You know, you're surrounded by some of the smartest people in the country, people who have done amazing things, and me. And it's easy to feel that you don't belong here, particularly if you look like me. Um, I'm here to tell you that you do. You have every right to be here and you should feel equal. I know that the LSE is doing a lot to improve its diversity and its understanding of issues of race and sexuality, gender, class, etc. But you're part of that journey and you have every right to take part and to have your voice heard. So I hope, like me, you allow that feeling of, I'm in a great place surrounded by great people, to last, to, to make you feel good about what you've achieved but don't allow self-doubt to overcome your ambition. If you can keep them in balance, you'll go far. Universities are future engines, by which I mean the university, the LSE, is the engine, it has all the parts, it has all the bits that you can use to basically fuel your future, but you, you're that future. My appeal to you is that you use your time at the LSE to pursue your own path, but to pursue it in such a way that you leave this world better than you found it. Frankly, you don't have much of a choice. My own experience, my own personal story, is one of someone who went to university later in life. But um, from that story, I know that university, having an education, particularly at a place like the LSE, is a real gift. You're lucky enough to have been born with a decent mind and hopefully some resources. But those of you that have some humility will also know that you're lucky to be here. So don't waste it. Use it. But use it to make the world a better place.